it's time for an update. A few Let's Plant episodes ago, yes, that's now a unit of time. You'd remember that I harvested a bunch of Echeveria seeds and sowed them in here. It's been a couple of weeks since then and I think you deserve an update. So let's have a look. Here's my macro. The last time I checked, it was cell A1, the first which germinated. And from there, I saw only one seedling, this one. And checking again today, I see two now. So the first one is here, the second is here. Two germinations. And look at my notes, cell A1 is Romeo. The next germination I saw was from cell A4. And it's somewhere here. You might see a faint green thing here. At the moment, it doesn't look like an Echeveria to me, but but we'll see how it progresses in the next few days. This is cell B2. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of seedlings here. As far as I'm concerned, at least compared to the other cells, this would be a successful germination. I would need to take note the conditions that I used here. Right next to that cell is this cell. This is cell B3. And as you can see, there's a lot more germination in here. It seems that this is an even more success compared to the others. So I think this is the sweet spot. So it appears that I got the most amount of success with cells B2 and B3 and according to my notes, these are both Echeveria elegans. So the conditions here are the seeds are slightly wet and the seeds are sticky and white which means that I have harvested them early on. So in my next attempts, especially with the ones that I hand pollinated, I think I might have to stick towards the, the dry, no not the dry, but with the wet sticky side of things. Although it's only been a couple of weeks, I am waiting for the rest to germinate. I think they might still come out. But so far, these conditions are proving to be the best. I'm done having a look and I would need to cover this again to allow the rest of them to germinate properly because they need a moist, humid environment. But before I do so, I would need to wet them again and I'll just look for my spray bottle. getting rid of some of the electronics. I'm giving a bit of space when I miss that way I do not allow the air coming out of the spray of the nozzle to push around the seeds or shift some of the soil. So doing it this way is generally the best way to do it at least in my mind. And having watered them again, I would need to cover it to maintain humidity and to make sure that nothing else comes in. Back to the shelf and I'll see you next update. Bye!